morning everyone welcome back to day two of our staycation it's morning and it's time for starbucks coffee since there's one here on property we are on our second day of our staycation here at lowe's portofino bay and we are getting ready to have a very packed day here we are going to go to the spa we are going to hit up another pool we have more restaurants to try so make sure to stay tuned hit that a notification bell and hit the red subscribe button and if you'd like to follow me anywhere else I am on Twitter Instagram and TikTok at magical Maddie B but today is all about relaxation so let's drink some coffee and start the morning it's time for club level breakfast time for breakfast let's see what breakfast looks like here oh, we have cereal and oatmeal and water and fruit juices and a hot bar here were our club level breakfast choices uh, we have a Hawaiian roll with egg cheese and bacon I have a blueberry donut something at the same sandwich some baby potatoes and a chocolate croissant a banana I picked two different types of tea they had a lot of different tea choices they had fresh coffee juice got some hot water we're gonna sit in our little area and enjoy the morning because I'm not even gonna show you what I look like until I decide to wake up. <laughs> we just got temp checked for the day. Today is green van. We are getting ready to head down to the spa. We talked about yesterday we're gonna go to the spa and enjoy some rub downs. We're gonna get massages and pedicures. <sighs> I'm still tired. I only got about four hours of sleep last night. <laughs> it is another beautiful day out here in the middle of Italy, Orlando. Still not too many people, but it's also pretty early in the day, so everyone's probably in the parks. And we're just enjoying the hotel. We go back by the main pool, and that's where the spa is. Don't know how much I'll be able to film in there, but... I'll try to show as much as possible. where we were hanging out earlier on these nice chairs. And there's a steam room and a sauna. Got your snackies? We got some snackies and some tea and some water. They recommend you drink a lot of water when you're done with your massage. just got back from our massages and our pedicures and it was really nice um, my massage was incredibly rough uh, just because I asked for a deep tissue massage and he said that it wasn't even the hardest that he could go because I couldn't take it and I was like sir you have the strongest fingers that I've ever seen so uh, but that was really nice really liked my pedicure lots of um, 
not my pedicure. I really liked my massage. Lots of oils. He made sure I was feeling okay. Made sure I was comfortable. Love that. Um, thanks, Sean. <laughs> you were great. Uh, as for my pedicure, um, it's not great. I asked for French tips, and they're a little wonky, but the like the massaging was fine. The water was cold. It wasn't hot. And it was like a meh. And it was $80, <laughs> so... I would probably skip the pedicure here next time. I really miss Senses, um, which is at Disney. So I got a value knees massage and I walk in and she was like, oh, this is gonna be gentle pressure and stretching. And I was like, oh, fantastic. So I did that, that was great. I really liked it. She did a good job. Um, the guy that did her massage did mine last time and he is strong. He's very, his fingers are very strong. Like I literally think I told you last night, I was like, I think his name was Sean, the one that did mine. And I'm like, bending my neck and I'm just like, this is painful. <laughs> But it's good. He said I was very, very tight from nursing, which I assumed. I took a nap. I didn't. I put my face in the pillow and just <laughs> sobbed. <laughs> How was your pedicure? I mean, the pedicure was okay. Like, my water was actually hot. Was but cool. she made fun of my toes, <laughs> so my toes looked weird. <laughs> We're gonna go back to senses as soon as it opens. We're gonna be like the first customers. Like, this they're is gonna like good though. It was, it was still good. Just if they, oh yeah, I'll be first in line. It's the same <laughs> price as Senses, and Senses just does a better job for what you did. But they give me, give, yeah, they did give me a mimosa. <laughs> We're gonna get ready to go and eat lunch by the pool, and um, you know, do this, do the things, do the pool, do the sunshine before it goes away, and then we're gonna go eat dinner at one of the fancy restaurants and check out the club level. Yeah, we still have a lot of more meals to go to club level, so we will see you down at the pool. This is snack time. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, so snack time is chips and granola bars and cookies. Are those cookies? This looks like a cookie. Why is there mustard? There might be like little sandwiches. Oh, they still have the coffee. It's empty in here now. On our way down to the pool, we decided to see what stores were actually open because we never answered that question yesterday. And the Universal Studios store is open. The doors are open. I kind of like these. I kind of like these too. They're cheaper than Disney's. They're fifty-seven dollars. Okay. Hmm. I just need to convince myself to stop buying um, spirit jerseys. <laughs> So I'm never gonna wear them because it's too hot. Oh, look. Oh. They have Potter things. They have baby Gryffindor outfit. There's a baby Hufflepuff. Baby Hoofles. This is prejudice against the Hufflepuff nation. Do have some cool water bottles though. And the wands. I could have just bought my wand here. Did you buy a wand? I did! Toby is a free elf. He looks like he's seen some things though. He does. He has. I mean, he has, yeah. We've got the monster book. All the cool ones. Wand collection. Dumbledore's. It just says Dumbledore. Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, Jenny Weasley. Neville Longbottom, Luna Lovegood. It does. Found the wall of pins. Oh, cute. Look at these. These are brushes. Let me see if it'll focus on them. Oh, look, look at Hermione and Harry. I don't have a hand to help it. Oh, there it goes. You got it. Wait for it. Look at Snape. <laughs> and Dumbledore. Why do we only have Slytherin and Gryffindor? What is this prejudice? Oh. That's cool. I want to get um, one of these to put my pass in because I hate whipping my pass out. I know. All right, we found our seats here at the pool. Same pool we came to last night. Our pool's fine, but it's kind of boring. It's a little more bumping out here. And we put in an order at the poolside bar. I forget what it was called. Splendidos. Splendidos. And I got a turkey club and a virgin drink. And you got a kid's meal? I got a kid's grilled cheese. Yeah, it'll save money in the end, so it's okay. Pool's just as busy as it was yesterday, but I'm hopeful just get a little What's sun. The they have their drinks in the pool. They're not Oh, maybe you can drink in the pool, I don't know. 
It is very, very hot today. I think it's almost 90 today. 88. 88 today. So we're probably gonna go get in the pool and enjoy the slide again. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. With somebody who loves me. Here is my turkey club. It's humongous. My onion rings. And the cute little grilled cheese sandwich came with some fruit. I don't even know how to go about this because like, oh, you see the difference in size. <laughs> And so the last time that you saw us, we were down by the pool enjoying our um, little sidebar snacks. They were fantastic. We both really enjoyed what we got from the pool bar. I highly recommend if you're here going to the pool bar. It was, again, $45 to eat there, but gratuity was included, 18%. So if that helps you make a choice. We stopped in the club level area on our way up because we had some friends stop by and they wanted to see it. Um, and for the hors d'oeuvre hour, they were having the same thing as yesterday, except instead of pasta, it was ravioli this time. So I didn't really think that I needed to show it, but it's from 5 to 7 again. So I think we are going to finish getting cleaned up because I am looking a mess. I don't know why my eyes are so dark today. I really, I slept like four hours last night, as I said this morning. So I think we're going to head over to City Walk because City Walk is open until 10 and see the new Universal store. So I think that sounds like a really fun plan. We'll probably walk or we can take the boat or the bus. So I guess you'll have to wait and see what type of transportation we take. Before we start the journey over to the city walk, we decided to stop into the gelato area to make sure we got gelato before we left. And we're gonna get some. They also have a bunch of snackies in here if you're looking for snacky items during your stay. They got nerds ropes. Nice. And a really big lollipop. So it's a small cup, two flavors, it's $5.50, a large cup is $7.50. And they have different like pre-made options like the Portofino Sunday, hot fudge brownie, turtle sundae, shakes, smoothies. There's some prices for you. And that's more like the breakfast menu. Coffee chip, coconut sorbet, blue banana, pistachio, mint chocolate chip. That's an interesting, oh, it's a pistachio. I was like, that's an interesting color. What is? The heck is that green? The pistachio or the blue banana? Both. Because the blue banana is like yellow underneath, that's what it looks like. Hmm. And they have little waffle cones or waffle bowls. And look, you can get some mix-ins. You got such a cute little cup. We have started a walking adventure. Not sure where we're going. Not sure if we're going to City Walk or a different hotel. Don't We don't know yet. We're just gonna see where life takes us. We started walking from the sign. But then we saw the Hard Rock sign over there. So we're curious as to how close the Hard Rock actually is to Portofino. Time to check out another Universal Orlando Hotel. This looks cool as heck. And apparently it's a five minute walk from here. It's like super close. It pops you out literally at um, like the ticketing area of studios. It smells so good in here. Their little like lobby area is lit up and there's posters of famous singers everywhere. Like here's this big poster of Elvis next to Bruno Mars. They've got a very big TV playing some rock music. The kitchen where their Starbucks is. A restaurant. Best ice cream and smoothies in town. The chandelier of saxophones, that is all. We've got a tank top that Shakira wore and Jennifer Lopez wore this dress in 2014. Oh, their shop's cool. I think I like their merch better than ours.
hard rock. It's definitely a different style than where we are. Copy you. We found okay. this pin wall <laughs> with some on sale pins. Where in the world is Hard Rock Kazoo Panda? <laughs> These are so funny. We're gonna open these pin picks that we found. It's that Hard Rock. Do them as fast as humanly possible. But then look at this other stuff that I got. Got this Hard Rock anniversary pin. Cool pick. Looks like it says 19, but it's for 2020. This is a, uh, what the heck was it? This is a Red Cross pin. Um, we'll donate 75% of the retail sale of this pin to the American Red Cross. This donation will help sound the alarm and save the lives for preparing families to safely escape and recover from home fires, which is why it looks like it's on fire. Mm. What did you get? It's literally just hard rock and up picture. Cool. Oh, well that's still fun. Tick. Not that we've ever stayed here, but they didn't have any Portofino pins. So now we're gonna open our, our pandas. Let me see which ones I actually would like. Honestly, they're all pretty funny. I really don't want the one doing sports though. No, I want. Oh, I got like smooth jazz bear. Number one. Number two. He's, he is oh, cute. he's French. Number three. I got Mardi Gras. He has little beads on. He has little beads on. That's so funny. There you go. Hard Rock Panda. <laughs> like Hawaiian? A ukulele one. Boom. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> no duplicates, okay. I'll take it. That's funny. 10 out of 10. Oh, these were also on sale for $8.99, so I don't know if they exist anymore. <laughs> if they're like on sale. Yeah, because they're normally $10.50 each. Limited release hard rock. Yikes, well, we might never find them again. <laughs> We made our way into Hard Rock Pool. I knew there was a big purple guitar. I saw it from afar, I knew it was there. The uh, slide here at the Hard Rock, you can walk under it, which is kind of cool, and it goes up in there. Looks like a little jungle. This is a better pool for the littles than we have. And it's got little sea turtles! Presley loves sea turtles, she'd like that. Another little splash pad next to more cabanas so the parents could chill in the cabanas. I cannot confirm nor deny because I'm not getting in this pool that you can hear the music when you're under the water. Wore this dessert themed custom bra. Nicki Minaj. This is their marketplace quick service area. We're on the walking path from Hard Rock to City Walk, finally. Oh, is that parking? That's like literally, par is this security? Wow. <laughs> Look, there's like security right there. The trail popped us out right at the Universal Studios sign. And I can hear the Mardi Gras music. Who's ready for more Mardi Gras? We've been extended again to May 2nd. I love Mardi Gras. I really don't want to go back again though. I've been so many times already. It feels so good to see this at night. Like I haven't seen this sign at night since like last four nights. I am the last vlogger on planet Earth to show you the Universal Studios store, but I really wanted to come over here for myself, not to show it off. But I will show you just in case you live under a rock and you haven't seen anyone post about it yet. Wow. Ooh, it smells very new in here. A lot of Harry Potter. A gift oh my gosh, look at this tiny Hufflepuff backpack. Cute. It's $65. Lots of home decor. They even have like a fancy pool stuff. Wow. 
Oh, you can, we could get Hufflepuff plates. We can get Hufflepuff posters. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I still think this is the coolest style of merchandise that they released, which was like the old school retro colors. One of my faves. This Ravenclaw hat is not included. But like these old school colors, the vibrance, my faves. Lots of Simpsons merchandise, if you are into that sort of thing. Minions. We're just gonna take a stroll through this store together, huh? Maybe look at some pins, Seuss things, Shrek things, Marvel, Velocicoaster. Who's going to the opening June 10th? Cool. I never know how much these, oh, they're $19. That's not like the worst thing they've. Look at this ET. It's very cute. I really like these. Vacay mode. We waddled into two things to find a dessert. It's fudge. Fudge is buy two, get one free. They have so many macarons. And more over here. You kidding me? Blackberry tea? This is our loot from the Chocolate Emporium. Here is my cake in a jar and my millions of pounds of fudge. All right, I tried the sea salt chocolate. It was pretty good, pretty good. Give it like a, a four out of five. Mmm, the peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter to be good. It was really good. That's probably a five out of five. And then we have chocolate and coconut. That's at least a four and a half. I haven't swallowed the salt and caramel yet. Wow, that's so good. These are all so rich. And then we went ahead and busted out the chocolate cake. I got the chocolate cookie dough cake. It was also very rich, but very, very good. The only thing open left was the diner that we went to last night. I'm sorry, I didn't try anything new. But I did get two new things on the menu, which would be cheese sticks and a calzone, which is absolutely enormous. So I'm gonna have a meal for tomorrow as well. All right, everyone. Well, I'm gonna say goodnight here from Universal Orlando because we are gonna walk back over to Pornofito Bay and go to sleep because in the morning we check out. If we do end up doing anything fun, I might throw it in the end of the vlog, but we have both have, well, I have to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna say goodnight here and thank you so much for watching the vlog. Say goodnight to the most beautiful girl in school other than the Epcot ball. So thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I really do appreciate it so much. We've been growing so, oh my gosh. We've been growing so much and I'm so excited about it. Hopefully we hit 1,000 subscribers soon. If you'd like to subscribe, it is right here. If you'd like to hit the notification bell, it is right here. And you can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at MagicalMightyBee. Have a fantastic night and I will see you in the next one. Good night.